this is my first impression of the anime that we are releasing in this winter season of 2023. This is just a first impression, I can change with time and with more episodes that get this each week. Let's start uh, with a small fry, a small anime region, Giant Beast or Ars no Kuji. We are in a fantasy world where there are giant beasts that can be fight with the symbiosis between a weapon holder and a person with a magic talent. This war is strange because there are ancient te technology, it's a strange type of medieval time, it's interesting. Since now there are only 4 episodes, the plot elements are not new, it's the only thing we are ever really seen, but it's interesting how they, will, they wanted to do it. One thing that you immediately tell is that the CGI is not uh, abundant. Because this giant monster, they are proud normally with hands. And usually, the studio will CGI for this monster and normal draft for the monster. Instead, this time, I, each episode has its own monster and they are draw better. There is a CGI for the transformation of the main protagonist, and there is CGI for the giant uh, spaceship and the uh, flying ship they, they use for move. It's, uh, it's a good feeling, it's a good vibe design. It's very fantasy, very fun and fantasy. It looks like with the game. Each episode they get uh, in different location, they can explore the thing, uh, the animal beast. Uh, it's a generic uh, play after them. Now let's go to another anime that is a bit generic. Hippon again, more Hippon. It's a spot anime based on a, on a manga that I didn't read and, and I see only three episodes that have been released. It's, a, it's, a, it's the classic story of an anime, that's the classic story of, of a club. In this case, it's Tudo, the good Tudo score that uh, wish to be uh, closed because there are not enough members. Fortunately, the protagonist find a member and then to the fight. It's very cute, this anime is very, even the character design is very cute because all these characters are feminine, they are not sexual feminine, they are just evil, it's very cute. I am I start to understand where cute girls doing cute things and because they are fighting, they are picking each other and throwing the ground. Why is cuteness in this? It's, it's fighting. They have to, to start to get bloody before doing it, before having the cute thing. Cute animation, cute things. Uh, the freeze uh, frame are very low. It's uh, 6.5 out of 10. Now let's move to an anime that is full CGI. Kaina of the Great Snow Sea or Oyukumi Umi no Kaina. Uh, let's say, say from the beginning, I have a very big bias for design because I, I love uh, the Magaki behind it. They always write stories like this uh, where humanity is at the end of the end about this extinguish in condition. It's very nice to see come back with a you know, new story. And unfortunately, all the assignments recently have been taken distance by the studio that used full CGI and uh, it's not a good CGI. It's kind of mediocre, it's kind of a kind of valley. Uh, it's good when it's doing the ambient, the great part of the war, but it's not uh, good for doing the person that may show the person. It's a generic uh, seven of the time. About CGI, let's move to another anime that CGI is doing much better. I'm talking about Bigger subspeed. Since now they are out four episodes, and uh, <laughs> yeah, this reboot uh, is taking the manga, it's taking the anime, and it's doing a full lot of each thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of, of, of a disaster because we are always in this anime planet that is desert, uh, you must be you must battle to life. Uh, Trigan is always a pacifist uh, trying to 
one. But uh, all, all, all the time, all the characters have changed. They're like, uh, instead of being he's a journalist, instead of being a security manager, and then the, this guy that completely smoke and make everything, and the other woman is disappeared. Uh, we have a completely different character design for the main protagonist because it's much easier to procure CGI because all this point head there will be a disaster in CGI. So, uh, a good thing about this anime is that uh, it can be a good incentive to people to get uh, started with reading the manga, to read the manga and watch the old anime. Can I talk about it? So I think this is a seven or ten. Now let's let's let CGI to CGI and move to another topic. After I'm Tomo Chan is a girl. This is us another rom com uh, adapting a very popular for coma with thousands of chapters out. Uh, it's very funny because it's a completely joking about gender, completely joking about this. How the woman is because the, the, the plot is that this this girl Tomo that is in love with with, with, with another student, but this other student continuously telling lies that she he don't she she and she she has a as a uh, as a boy. So this anime is continuously the same joke uh, with different things. Uh, very rom com, very funny. Uh, the other character with all the youngs are also funny. The uh, voice actor for this character has uh, been chosen greatly. It's very really fun, very good voice for Tom. There are them. The stage completely climate. Uh, with the next, next uh, anime, The Spy Hunter or Ikai no Hu. This is not for a manga, this is not an anime original, this is a adaptation of a novel, a fantasy novel that will take some liberty. Since now there are three books, there are three episodes that out. It's the story where we are in uh, ancient Japan, it's about now, where it's the, the fire that became uh, where for some reason people when the real fire they get sick self born and everybody die so the society just move away from the fire and start using the fire for the beast because there are these fantasy beast uh, in the forest that if you kill it uh, then you get this type of energy this type of retina and you can use to augment the, the machine and to warm up your food and uh, for kill this beast uh, you have to be an hunter with a weapon and a dog and the protagonist uh, is this girl that gets saved by an hunter but the hunter gets killed by the beast so the protagonist has to travel to the main capital to get back to, to give back the, the thing of the from the family and then there is also another protagonist uh, this anime is very good, very different climate, very hidden gem, we can say. See the second episode when you start to be talking because they are, you can really see the cutting corner between in the animation, especially in the third episode because there is a voiceover, you, you don't even see the, the people speaking, you just hear the voice because it's much easier to admit. Then uh, sometimes you see the character slide and start from moving to one side to another. One thing that's kind of cute uh, is that they mix uh, the illustration from the novel and the illustration from the anime. Sometimes the anime actually became a bad print, uh, a crazy print. Uh, the OP is just still my heart. It's beautiful. This is definitely out 8 out of 10. Let's move uh, to the last uh, anime I'm watching this season. Probably the most controversial of all. Onimai, Onichan wa Oshimai. Now you bother with your sister. Okay. Hello. So, there is this girl. They have a brother that is a shot in Wigo. And what she decide to? 
decide to give him a drug that are forming teeth in a, sh in a little in a little lorry. Completely, no, it's not uh, a transition, it's, it's a transformation complete. Uh, uh, and this is, this is made from Studio Bind, very famous for doing most of the future. Another small thing like called Chocolate Sale, you know, if everybody know it. And they decided this to an anime even more logical color. I, what I can say is that Sun is beautiful. And each, each scene uh, is a masterpiece, it's, everything is pink, everything is colorful, it's very nice to see. The animation are great, uh, each scene is very animated, even the, the, the little thing like the movement, movement of the, the hand, uh, people driving the scene, it's very good, everything is very animated. Of course, the, the uh, and uh, you laughed uh, at each fucking, each fucking scene because each scene is a joke about sex, and about, about, about gender, about things uh, like, for example, the bathroom uh, in the, the, the theater. Uh, it's, very, it's very fucking beautiful. 8, part, eight point out of 10. Of course, it's very, it's very controversial because uh, there is very logical energy coming out of each scene. Uh, so if you don't wanna see this, you not posted. If you wanna think it's a pipeline, think what you want. It's just a slice of life that I found really funny, and I will continue watching. It's uh, interesting if you watch a bit of image from the manga, you see that some things have been changed. For example, there is Kaede that in the manga is like a normal girl. In the anime, is a mega opai. With uh, with God, with yeah, we can see. Okay, I and here the all the other anime of this season. I'm just ignoring them. I don't watch them. Uh, this is what just my first impression. Thanks for your attention.